Hey guys, it's Steph, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my 2022 beauty favorites. Oh my goodness, I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I am. How have we already made it through 2022? Uh, I don't understand, so I'm not gonna try to. But in today's video, I am giving you guys all of my favorites from the past year. I have a mix of high-end and I have a mix of drugstore. I've basically picked out a drugstore product and a high-end product for each category. So uh, we got a lot to go through. If you guys enjoy these kind of videos, then please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. It means a lot. We've had quite a few new people on this channel. Don't know what I've been doing, like, it makes me a little bit nervous sometimes, but hello if you're new here, uh, and if you're not, like, still hello, but also if you are new here and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, we have a lot to go through, so let's just get on into it. Before we get into the actual makeup products, I wanna talk about something that has been a favorite of mine for this year, and they have very kindly sponsored this portion of the video, and that is Hello Fresh. I literally sucked at cooking before all of this. Like before I actually tried Hello Fresh, I would never cook. Found it really overwhelming. It was just, I, I, I personally just didn't like cooking. But Hello Fresh has been a favorite of mine for the last year because honestly, I have, I'm actually quite a good cook these days. Like Chefney Toms is here. She's here to stay. I can make like risotto without even looking at any of the recipes. I can make risotto, tacos. I can make like a good steak with chips, with wedges, like everything like that, I can make a good pasta. I'm sure a lot of you are already very familiar with HelloFresh because I talk about them a lot, but I do have a very, very good discount code for you guys that I'll put on screen and also down below, so make sure you check that out. There are honestly so many good things I can say about HelloFresh. Number one, the most important thing, the food is incredible. I have not had a HelloFresh meal that I did not like, and I'll always go and try different things that maybe I wouldn't think to cook, and honestly, the food is always just mm, top notch. So it tastes good, which is the most important important thing. It's also really, really affordable compared to actually going to the supermarket. I was honestly a little bit skeptical about that when I first heard about HelloFresh like a few years ago, but it literally saves you so much money. You don't have to go to the actual supermarket or pay to get them delivered. You just get a box every week or however often you want it. And you have all the recipes that you chose for that week. You have the exact amount of ingredients. So you're not gonna go and get like a huge bag of something that you're only gonna use a teeny tiny amount of. And then when you go to use it again, you realize it's like, moldy or out of date or something like that. You get the exact amount of ingredients that you need so there is no waste. And they have loads of different options as well. They have like street food, they have regular classics, they have things that only take you 20 minutes, which I personally love doing because I'm that person that like, if it takes me longer to cook than it takes me to eat, then I just kind of sit there and think like, I don't that know. So you get quick meals, you can even have calorie controlled meals if that's something that you're doing. So yeah, HelloFresh has been a massive favorite of mine for the last year. So if you guys do wanna try it out for yourself, like I said, I'll put the code on screen now and also down below, but honestly, it has been an absolute game changer for me. I'm not even just saying that, like I love it. Uh, I've got some steak with blue cheese sauce that I'm gonna have later on today that I am very, very excited about. There's so many good options, so if you guys wanna check it out, click the link down below, use my code, and save yourself a little bit of money, because honestly, HelloFresh is great. Honestly, even thinking about the food that I'm having later, it's making my mouth water a little bit. So yeah, check it out, guys. Link down below, discount codes on screen, everything like that. So uh, now I'm done talking about foods and my belly's rumbling, let's get into all the products. So the first thing I have that's kind of drugstore, like it's technically not, so we're off to a great start, but this is definitely more affordable than the other product I'm gonna show you guys, is the Iconic London Prep Set and Tan. This is all I have left. I actually prefer the original one, this, no, I, I'm a liar, I prefer the Glow one. This is the original one, but this stuff I have used every single day since I first came across it, and it's honestly so, so good. It basically gives you the nicest tan Ever, and you just spray it all over your face. It makes you look glowy from the get-go, but it also builds you up to have a nice natural looking tan. I personally prefer the color that's slightly deeper to this, but I've been using this one up and I'm gonna get another one very, very soon. But this and this, incredible. Next, we'll move on to these guys here, which I'm sure you guys have seen many, many times. These are the Drunk Elephant Deep Bronzy Drops, and honestly, I mix these with my moisturizer, my primer, my foundation. Sometimes I just chuck them all over my face anyway. This stuff makes me look 
way more healthy than I actually am. If I look dead, you can bet that I am just slathering this all over my face. It's a little bit more pricey, but a little bottle like this lasts me months and I use it every single day without fail. So I love this stuff. Okay, now I wanna move on to brows. Now it is gonna be no surprise to any of you guys, the Refai Brow Sculpt is my favorite. That's it. It's literally the best brow gel I have ever used ever, ever, ever. I'm obsessed with it. It keeps my big old brows up. It doesn't make them fall or anything like that. It's such a good product. And I know some of you, I also didn't realize this either, didn't realize that it has a brush in the lids. I love refined products in general. You'll see a couple of them sprinkled throughout this video, but yeah, the refined brow gel has been an absolute favorite of mine this year. And then on the more like drugstore sort of side, I don't think you can actually get these in the drugstore, but I'm hoping these guys will appear in the drugstore at some point in the near future, we have the Pink Honey Brow Gel. Now this stuff, it's called the Super Hold Brow Glue or Honey Glue, and this one, this is the honey one, but they also have a banana scented one. They've changed their packaging a little bit since like I first got this, but I've been a fan of this for ages now. It's like a better alternative to actual soap. So if you guys like using soap for your brows, but you don't like it when it really kind of like foams up and it's just like, soapy because at the end of the day it is soap. This is the better alternative. It's also really easy to use because you just get your spoolie, wet it slightly and then just wiggle it around in there and it's such a good product. And also small business, you guys know I love a small business around here. Speaking of which, the Unicorn Cosmetics Bare Brows. Now Unicorn Cosmetics have really blown up over the last few years. This again is a slightly older packaging but this stuff is Great, again, it's a similar sort of idea as the Pink Honey. Uh, a lot of brands have tried to copy this over the years, I'm not saying any names, but this is like the original, this is the best. And then also the Bare Brows, had to give a little shout out to this because this stuff is great as well. You've probably seen it all over TikTok and it really is as good as everyone says it is. So those are a few more like drugstore faves. I feel like TikTok has really like influenced me over the last year. The e.l.f. Halo Glow, this is better I'm sorry, Charlotte. This is better than the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood filter. It is. I love this stuff. I prefer it to the collection one. This one is my fave, but the collection one is also really, really good as well. But this is honestly incredible. I like to use this personally as a primer more than anything else, which is why it's in the primer category. And then for the more high-end side of things, this came back into my life fairly recently, but I loved this for years. It's the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Now these are two totally different options. This gives you like a proper like airbrushed, glowy, filtered sort of look to your skin. You can use it as a highlighter as well. You can use it for loads of different things. But if you like a moisturizing primer, the Bobbi Brown Face Base is insane. The Primark one, which obviously is a ton cheaper, is also really, really good. I do still prefer this one, but the Primark one, if you don't wanna go and shell out on this, is quite a good alternative. But this stuff, it smells incredible. Definitely just got some on my nose there, but honestly, like if you like a moisturizing primer, like if you like just putting moisturizer on your face, but you kind of want the longevity of a primer, this gives the best of both worlds and it makes your skin really, really nice, hydrates your skin. It's just bloody good stuff. Very happy to have it in my life once again. Um, won't be going without this again for, for a very, very long time. But yeah, those are my primer faves. Okay, now let's talk foundation. Now, I think this video will have gone live by the time you see this. If not, spoiler alert, there's a review on this foundation coming up because this guy just slipped in in the last minute. It's the HMB foundation. I love this. Like this is literally my new favorite foundation. The shade that I'm using at the moment is LF11N with a tiny little bit of the shade number four just in there just so it kind of like lightens it up a little bit for me. But honestly, this foundation is incredible. You can get it on the drugstore as well. Or I know you can get HMB in Boots now, which is very, very exciting, but you can also just get this on the HMB website. And then my more expensive foundation, by the way, can we talk about the fact that there is no Milani 2-in-1 in sight? Like, what is going on? Like, I've switched things up quite a bit over the last year. I still love Milani 2-in-1, just need to give it like a little honorary mention there, but my favorite high-end foundation this year has to be the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin. Now, I always forget that I have this. I just spat everywhere. I always forget that I have this because I have it in my side drawer down here, but this one is in the shade 6 Neutral, and I 
love it. It gives you the most glowy skin. It's like flawless, but not like cakey. It's got good coverage, but it's not like super full coverage. I just freaking love this. If you have a wedding or something to go to, if you're like, I don't know, going to some sort of event, this is incredible. Photographs really, really nicely, but also these photograph really, really well as well. So like they're, they're all great. Next, we'll talk about concealer. This is my favorite. This is my absolute favorite, it's the ABH Concealer. This one, I need a new one because I'm literally like scraping at the barrel every time I use this. This one's in the shade six. It's the Magic Touch Concealer. And can we just appreciate the fact that It Cosmetics by By Under Eye is nowhere to be seen. Again, still bloody love that, but I've been using this over everything for months and months and months now. And this tube lasted me such a long time as well. So I need to get another one of those. And then for a more con uh, concealable, affordable, affordable concealer, my words, man. Like you can tell it's the end of the year. I've spoken so much over the last year that I'm just like, my words like just my, I just need to stop, don't I? Can't even speak anymore. My favorite more affordable drugstore concealer is this one, again, from HNB. Now, I won't lie, this one took me a minute to get used to, I think, because I was so used to using something that was like seriously, seriously hydrating, but this, on a base like the Bobbi Brown um, face base, is amazing. It gives you really, really good coverage. I actually have it on at the moment with the HNB foundation, so the combination is uh, great, if I do say so myself, but I really, really love this concealer. You can get it in boots as well, and I wear the shade SF 2.5 W. Okay, now let's move on to contour. Now I could not find anything this year or any year to be honest that rivals my Too Faced chocolate bronzer. This is literally and has been for years. You guys are probably sick to death of me showing you this, but it is literally my go-to bronzer for when I'm like contouring. Like, don't get me wrong, I can use this as like an all-over bronzer, but I personally prefer to use this as more of like a contour. It's not super cool tone, so you can't really go too wrong with it. It's got a little bit of warmth to it, but it also has a nice cool undertone, so it really does just sculpt your face out. I swear by this stuff. And then another product that is not the same by any means, like none of these products, are supposed to be dupes of one another, but I have also really been loving the blush in the shade Hollow there. So this is like the bronze blush. And if I just show you guys a little swatch on the back of my hand, this one is very, very cool toned, as you can see there. It really gives you like the idea of like a shadow on your skin. I don't tend to do it too often, but I actually love this for nose contouring. You can literally see it's like, Barely much different to my skin tone, but it's just deep enough to give me a little bit of a shadow without looking muddy or anything like that. I love this. And I also really love the blush in the shade uh, Shady Business. This one is really, really nice as well. Again, my favorites for the more high-end bronzer has to be Matte Give Me Sun. Again, a favorite of mine for years. If you guys haven't tried out this combination on your cheeks, I promise you, you are missing out. Like if I could only ever choose like one contour and one bronzer for the rest of my life, I would happily go with these two. Like they are a match made in heaven. If you guys haven't seen Give Me Sun, you can see it's this slightly warmer shade. It's almost got like a kind of orangey undertone to it, but it doesn't look orange on your skin. It just adds a little bit of life to your cheeks. I have it on now. I have it on in most of my videos. I love this. And then I don't really know what kind of like category we're in right now. We're just talking about bronzes and stuff. But I also wanted to give a little mention to the Pink Honey BFF Face Frosting Bronzer. This stuff, I only tried out a month or two ago, but I love this for a cream bronzer. You guys may remember I love the ABH cream bronzer, which I still love, but this has just taken center stage. I always have it with me. It's always in my drawer here. If I ever need like warming my face up, maybe if my face isn't matching my body, I will always go for this stuff because it's just such a nice undertone. I have the shade Buttercream. And again, I'll show you the color there. It's got like a nice neutral undertone to it. So again, it's not gonna make you look orange, it's just gonna warm you up a little bit and you get so much product here. And again, Pink Honey is a smaller business. Like let's support small businesses in the new year, please, because like their products are incredible. I feel like a lot of the more like corporate umbrella brands, they're great. They're still bringing out banging products, but I feel like the smaller brands are actually giving people what they want there and then, like what's trending, what people are wanting to put on their faces and this. Just take a moment for this, because it's incredible. And then, another quick little mention for another cream bronzer. Who am I? Like, 
literally a year ago, I would probably have like one cream bronzer to show you guys and be like, I don't really like using it, but I love a cream bronzer these days. This one from Misguided is so good. It's the Instant Vacay Luminous Gel Bronzer. And I use the shade medium to dark. Now, I don't know if they do a deeper color. If they don't, they probably should because this one isn't actually that deep. I'll give you guys a little swatch on the back of my hand, but this is, you know, as it says on the tube, more of like a gel bronzer. And it's a bit more lightweight, so I tend to use this a little bit more in like spring and summer. But you can see it just adds a nice warmth to my skin. But it's also got a little bit of a sheen. It's not sparkly or anything like that. It just adds a slight little sheen there and it's just stunning. Just like dusted lightly over your cheeks. It looks really, really good. And I feel like no one ever really talks about this. So hop on the bandwagon now while it's still in stock, because I know like when products go viral, they are just like out of stock everywhere. This one is always in stock whenever I see it anywhere in like Superdrug or whatever. So uh, grab it, cause it's dope. And whilst we're on the topic of cream products, now this one isn't exactly high end. It's more expensive than this one. So I'm gonna nudge this one into the more like high end category today. Blush from Mitchell. I feel like they've like taken over the internet. Like Mitchell has like broken the internet with these things, especially over on TikTok. They are great. They're so great. You can use them on your eyes, on your lips, on your cheeks. And this one is in the shade Peach Sugar. I also really, really love Candy Kiss, I think it is. It's like this really, really bright pink, but it looks stunning on the cheeks. These are amazing. If I ever use a cream blush, I'm normally using one of these, but I also love the She Glam Liquid Blushes. So these are called the Color Bloom Liquid Blushes. This one is in the shade Love Cake, and you guys may have seen me feature these in a video before. First of all, I love the applicator, but they are so intense and so pigmented, but not to the point where they're unusable. You just need one little dab on your cheeks and you just get this really, really nice color payoff. These are really, really good and super affordable as well. I almost forgot about this, but oh my God, this is definitely more on the high end side of things, but actually it's not like, crazy, crazy expensive. The new by YSL cream blushes are, oh my God, these are insane. I know you're probably thinking, Steph, that's literally like red, but when you put them on, again, I'm just gonna swatch it. I'm gonna have a handful of swatches in a minute. When you put this on, it blends out so nicely. You can use a little bit, you can use a lot. It's so cold that mine's just like stuck in the tube. But again, it's like a gel kind of formula. And um, when you blend it out, I've put way too much on my hand there, but it's fine, we'll just, we'll just keep on blending. Honestly, if you guys saw the video when I first tried these out, I could not believe how nice they were. Like, I am obsessed with these. Now I'll move on to powders, and honestly, nothing, absolutely nothing compares to my Laura Mercier powder, especially in the shade Honey. Now for me, I've got a slightly, I wouldn't say I've got like olive undertones or anything like that, but I'm definitely a little bit more on like the neutral warm side than I am like a cooler side. And especially when I'm looking a little bit dead, when I got a bit of fake tan on, the Honey shade is amazing. I am obsessed with this powder. You guys know I am. I don't even need to go on about it too much. It's been my ride or die for years now. It's literally the best powder out there. And then I was looking at what I could include for the drugstore side of things. And we have this Rimmel powder here, a pressed powder, which never happens in my videos, but I love this. Like when I first tried this, I could not believe how flawless this made my skin. So it's the Rimmel Kind and Free Healthy Look Pressed Powder looks like this here. This one is in the translucent shade, but they also do a few other colors as well. But the Kind and Free range from Rimmel is actually so good. Like I actually think I prefer it over a lot of Rimmel's other products. So if you're looking for something that's like my ride or die powder, this will last you God knows how long and it's honestly incredible. Go for the Laura Mercier. But if you want something that's more affordable, if you want more of like a blotting powder, if you just want a good affordable powder, try this. If you haven't already, it's honestly like, you wouldn't necessarily think too much about it. It kind of reminds me of the Max Factor Cream Puff. Do you guys remember that? It kind of smells like old lady-ish, which I personally love, but the packaging, like if you said to me, this is one of the best powders on the drugstore, I'd be like, is it though? But it actually is. And also it's not technically on the drugstore anymore. You can get it on websites like Look Fantastic and stuff, I believe, but the Lottie London powder, you guys know, still a favorite of mine. One of the best loose powders in existence. Still prefer the Laura Mercier, but the Lottie London Ready Set Go powder is amazing and really, really affordable as well, but something you can get readily at the drugstore. Try this guy out, it's amazing. So I know I already mentioned it a minute ago because honestly, I'm already like just all over the place with these categories. The Matte Give Me Some Bronzer is amazing, but if you want something a bit more affordable, it's not exactly the same, but this gives you a really, 
really stunning, like rich, warm undertone to your skin. It's very, very pigmented, so you do not need to use a lot. I feel like the matte one is a lot easier to use. You can like load up your brush and it never really looks like it's too much, but this one is like, insanely pigmented. Have I even said what it is? It's the Barry M Island Heat Wave Powder Bronzer in the shade, don't know, couldn't tell you. I think it might literally just be in the shade Heat Wave. But on the times where I've misplaced my MAC one, I will go for this one instead because it gives me the same kind of undertone, the same sort of like, just bronziness to my skin without being too much. This one is completely matte as you can see, whereas the MAC one has a little bit of a sheen to it. It's not quite shimmer, it's more of a sheen. But this one is really good and obviously like a fraction of the price. Now let's talk powder blushes. We have this one here from Trigwell. This is a recent discovery of mine, this blusher. It maybe doesn't look like the most exciting thing in the pan, but honestly, this on the cheeks, it's in the shade Strawberry Lemonade. This one, again, has gone viral all over the place. Trigwell is, again, another really, really small independent brand, but they are killing it at the moment, and their blushes. You can also use these for your eyes. I haven't actually tried that yet, but their blushes are insane, and then, an old favorite of mine, Illamasqua. You guys know, uh, like Illamasqua holds a very, very special place in my heart. And this blusher in the shade Hussy, I don't just love it for the name, is such a go-to for me. Like when I'm like traveling or something and I'm just thinking I need one blusher to chuck in my bag that kind of works with everything, it's this one. Now let's talk about a couple of liquid highlighters. We have this one here from Beauty Pie. Now, if you are a Beauty Pie member, you will obviously get this for a lot cheaper. So this one here is basically a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury wand, which I actually think I prefer this one over the Charlotte Tilbury one. It's called the Triple Beauty Luminizing Wand. Uh, I don't think it necessarily has a shade as such, but this is honestly such a nice glowy liquid highlighter. It's even got the cushion like the Charlotte Tilbury one has. And you can see that shine is incredible. Really, really easy to apply as well. You only need the tiniest amount and it just blends out so nicely, whether it's over the top of powder, under powder, no makeup, full beat, whatever you're doing, it's such a nice glowy highlighter. And then I don't know where my favorite shade has gone. And I'm quite concerned because I love this stuff. But again, another product from Illamasqua. This is one of their liquid highlighters, but this one's in the shade Days. And I do like this one, but the shade OMG is my absolute favorite. Like they always sell out of it. But you can see if I just blend it out, you can see the Illamasqua one is like blinding when it catches the light. Like it doesn't really look like much on your skin, but when it catches the light, it's like, insane, just like super metallic. This one, the Beauty Pie one, is a little bit more glowy, a little bit softer, but you guys know I'm all about looking like the Tin Man, so that's another option as well. Okay, setting spray, you've all heard me talk about the Urban Decay All Nighter. Again, it has been a favorite of mine since the dawn of time, pretty much. Like, I'm pretty sure I came out of my mom's womb just like spraying this all over my face because I love it that much. Again, if I only ever had to choose one setting spray, it would be this guy. Sorry to all of my other wonderful setting sprays, but this is by far my favorite. It keeps your makeup on so well. It doesn't actually change the way your makeup looks. It just keeps it on. So even though this is my ride or die, I do still have to give a mention to this little guy here from Be Perfect. It's the One Do Three uh, Longevity Prep Set and Refresh Facial Mist. Now you can use this as a primer, you can use it as a setting spray, you can use it as loads of different things. This is actually a recent discovery of mine, but I love this. It definitely makes you look more dewy than the Urban Decay one. Like if you want something that just keeps your makeup as is, but it like just makes it stay a lot longer, the Urban Decay one is your go-to. But if you wanna add a little bit more glowiness to your skin without it being like super shiny, this one is honestly amazing. And every time I've used this, it's kept my makeup on so, so well. So this is a new contender for me, but I've got my eye on it. So just wanted to add that in there as well, just cause it's really, really good. Okay, now let's talk about powder highlighters. So you guys know, I still absolutely adore my Ofra highlighter, but I thought I would show you a few other products this year. We have this one here from Primark. Now, Primark always change their packaging and like the actual product itself. They kind of like always differ every so often depending on when you go into store. But Primark highlighters for a drugstore highlighter are so bomb. This is the Golden Glow one, and this one's fairly new to me, but it actually reminds me of one that I had before. And if I just give you a swatch on the back of my hand, you can see it's like super, super shiny. Honestly, I'm obsessed with it. They do loads of other colors of this as well. And there's something that isn't exactly like super high end, but is definitely a bit more priced than the Primark one are the Doll Beauty highlighters. I have been using these 
non-stop since I rediscovered this palette. I think they have different packaging now, but I've had these for so long and they're just like, hello. Hello. All right, now let's move on to palettes. Now, I actually don't have anything that's super high end. I feel like there are loads of palettes that I could mention depending on the colors and all of that, but I wanted to show you guys some palettes that I've been loving that are actually really, really affordable. Let's start off with the most affordable, which is the Body Collection eyeshadows. Now, these normally come in palettes of six. I love this one here, which is in the shade Envy. You guys can see you've got loads of nice, like, rich, almost like mossy tones there, but these are honestly some of the most pigmented eyeshadows you will ever try. No one talks about these enough, and they're literally like, you might have to correct me, but I think they're like £2.50, £3, it's something around that, it's absolutely madness. You can normally get them in Wilco as well, so quite easy to pick up, but they do loads of different palettes like this. I actually have this shade here from the Medusa palette right in the center of my eyes right now, and it is, what was it, this color here, that one there, just on the outer corner of my eye. Honestly, such good eyeshadow palettes. Like, not even just for the price, they're just incredible eyeshadow palettes that I go back to all the time. And then another palette that we have that also comes with six pans is this one here from Cash Beauty. Cash Beauty, again, is another slightly smaller brand. They are killing it and their palettes are incredible. I have this in my dressing table upstairs because I just use it all of the time. Like this shade mixed with this right on the center is my go-to when I'm doing a halo eye. Honestly, I am so impressed with pretty much every single Cash Beauty product I've tried. They also do a bunch of different palettes as well, but yeah, these are great. And then Beauty Bay, they kill it. Oh my God, they kill it when it comes to palettes. This one is their Dark Fancy palette, but I also love the Wilderness palette. Oh my God, if you need like one palette that kind of does it all, go for one of the Beauty Bay palettes because they just have everything you could possibly need. This one's obviously a bit more of like a bluey green, purpley sort of tone, but the Wilderness one is more like rich, greeny kind of tones as well. They're great, they're super affordable, and um, yeah, you get like everything you need in the palette. I of course have to give a little shout out to Glisten Cosmetics because they have created the most insane colored line of palettes this year. Like these are just some of them. We have the, they're all like the artist palettes, but I'll just show you guys. We have one with May, we have one with Rowie, we have one with Wendy, and you can just see the colors on them are incredible. And these liners, you can buy them individually as well, but I thought I'd include these in the palettes. They are literally like just the most beautiful things in existence. So you can mix them together. You can have like each shade individually. You can basically make whatever you want out of these palettes. They're, they're so, so nice. You can use them as like more of like a liquid eyeshadow if you really wanna buff them out. But these as liners, if you're doing like a graphic liner look, the best, seriously, the best. Next, we'll talk about liquid liners. I have been loving a flick this year. I never used to do a flick, but now I'm like, I do one every single day without fail. The first one is more of like a drugstore friendly option, which is again, a product that I have used for years now. It's the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This one is in the shade black and it's got the tiniest, finest little nib, but it is super, super black. I always recommend this to people if they're like, you know, what liner shall I use that's affordable? This is an incredible option. But also, the Huda Beauty Quick and Easy Life Liner. This one is in the shade brown, and this is the one that I use all the time. It's got a similar kind of applicator. Obviously, you can see this one is more brown than the black one. It's kind of how it works in the different colors, but I swear by this liner. I use it all the time, even if I'm doing like a little beauty mark like I've got there, because I had a spot and I wanted to cover it up. It's what I've got on my outer corner, my inner corner. It does not budge and it's really, really fine and precise and yeah, just love both of those. Like I don't know which one I prefer. I don't know if NYX actually have a brown one. If they do, I need it. I've also been using the um, NYX brow pen. I forget what it's called, but that's actually a really good option as well if you want something that's more of like a brownie color. But yeah, I love both of these. They also do the Huda Beauty one in a black color as well. I think they might even do a few other colors now too. That like, might be like limited edition or something, but yeah, these are the best. I struggle to find a liner that doesn't run or that isn't something super precise and sharp. These the top dogs. Next, I'll move on to mascara, and it is no surprise to any of you, I'm sure, that the L'Oreal Telescopic had to be featured as my fave. This is my favorite mascara, regardless of price. 
Like, it's just my favorite. I have been using this for ages now. I try so many mascaras all the time. I probably try out a new mascara like every other day or something, but nothing has compared to this guy. If you guys haven't tried it, it's actually quite an old mascara. Um, it's been out for years, but it's got this tiny, tiny little skinny wand, but it makes a big impact. Like, I don't have lashes on or anything like that right now. I just have this mascara and it lasts a really, really long time as well. But then I figured I had to include something that was a little bit more on the pricey side of things. And as much as it almost like pains me to say because this mascara is really, really expensive, but being totally honest, this one is better. Like, if, if you're like wondering which one to get, get the L'Oreal Telescopic. But I had to give a little mention to the Rodeo Mascara that I tried out a couple of months ago now. It is pricey. I think it's one of the most pricey mascaras I actually have, but this is the XXL Volume one, and it's got a very, very fat one, but this gives you insane volume. It's very, very black. It lasts really, really well as well. I don't like to recommend it too much because I feel like mascara is one of those things. You can get a good mascara in Primark. You can get a good mascara from Essence, Catrice, loads of brands like that. So I'm always wary when I recommend a super expensive mascara because you can kind of get it on the drugstore, but this is really, really nice. If you want to give someone a really nice gift or if you want to treat yourself or just try something else, or if you just love Rodial as a brand as a whole, this is a really, really dope mascara, but I will say telescopic. If I could only use one mascara for the rest of my life, it would be this one. Last but not least, let's talk about a few lip products. I'm gonna start off with liners. Now I have two favorites for this year. One of them is insanely cheap, like dirt cheap. And I say that with love. I, I need to take a minute. I don't know what that noise was that my throat just made then, but this is like, I don't know where this has been all my life. Like granted, 17 only like came back to stores. I think it was actually this year. This is the best lip liner, especially in terms of shade. Ever. So this is just the 17 lip liner in the shade Dusty Pink, and it's actually what I've got on my lips at the moment with another product that I'll show you guys in a second. But if you guys have been wondering what I've been wearing that's like this really nice dusty, rosy, pinky, nude kind of color, it's literally this. Normally I'll just put a little bit, a little bit that my brain is like malfunctioning help. Normally I'll just put a little bit of lip balm on my lips and go over the top with this and it's honestly just the most perfect pink shade. However, something that is more pricey, a similar kind of color, but the longevity of this is just madness. This is what I've also got on, is the Refai Lip Sculpt. You can see this one's a bit more nudie than the 17 liner. But this lip sculpt, it's in the shade blush. And the reason I love this so much is because it has this stuff in the bottom of it. So when you put this over the top, it literally does not budge. And I've used this with the 17 lip liner as well. So I've got this on at the moment for like the pinky color, but then I've used the actual Refai, um, like lip locking color stuff. I don't know if it has an actual name, whatever the hell it is. This stuff in the bottom of this tube is magical because like it literally just like, it does not budge at all. Next, I wanna give a little mention to a few of my favorite lip products. Now, they all vary in terms of color. It's not necessarily just the color that I'm gonna show you guys. It's more so like the formula. Let's start off with the really, really affordable one from Essence. Look at this shade here. It's a bit more of like a cool tone in comparison to the um, lip liner, but this one is the Hydromat in the shade 401. It is no secret that I am a huge Essence fan girl. I love so many of their products and their lipsticks are literally like, again, two pound 50, three pound, something like that, like way under a fiver. They are incredible. Like if you're looking, I don't know, say if you're going somewhere and you wanna wear like a red lip, but you don't have a nice red lipstick, but you don't wanna go and spend loads of money, try Essence because their products are so good regardless of price and they have loads of different shades as well. Next is something that's a little bit more expensive but still fairly affordable is this from Doll Beauty. Now this shade here, as you can see, is a bit more for when I'm doing like my kind of concealer lips, super 90s kind of look. It's in the shade uh, Come To Mama, but I also, where is it? If you like a concealer lip, if you wanna really highlight the center of your lip, the shade FOMO, mine's a bit grubby, but FOMO is like pure, you can barely even see it there. It's like pure concealer lip. It's incredible if you're doing an ombre lip, but I love these lipsticks as well. They do really, really good matte ones. And then something more on the high end, I need to try out more Vive products because the Vive lipstick is one of my go-tos. This is actually my second one. Obviously they do loads of other shades as well, but I love the packaging. I think Jamie has absolutely smashed it with her brand this year. Uh, 
love the product, love the formula, love everything about it really. So that's something that's a little bit more high end, but again, really, really great lipstick. If you find something that's like your go-to lip shades, this just makes you feel bougie. And it's just, it's just a nice package. It just looks good as well. Do you know what I mean? It just looks sophisticated and like you have your life together, which I don't, but at least I can look like it sometimes. But yeah, love Vive lipsticks. And then last but not least, I have a couple of liquid lipsticks. Now I got so many questions about the red lip that I was wearing on a few of my Instagram posts. And it was this from Kylie Cosmetics. I freaking love this. I, oh my God. I feel like the trick with the Kylie liquid lipsticks is to put the liner underneath and then put the liquid lipstick over the top because it literally does not budge. Like I was in uh, Manchester for an event and I had my lipstick on from like 4 p.m until like 5 a.m. But my lipstick did not budge. So I had to give the Kylie liquid lipstick a little mention because honestly, this, especially in a red shade, I always struggle to find a red that just does not budge. This is my favorite. And then I wanted to find something that was a little bit more drugstore friendly for you guys. So I picked up the Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink, which I don't know if you guys remember these, but they also do like a vinyl uh, formula as well, which I actually really, really love, but these do not budge, again, at all. I do prefer the Kylie ones ever so slightly, but these Maybelline ones are also great and they smell incredible as well. They literally smell like, this is a bit weird, but they smell like Ikea to me, like the Ikea candles, but that's a good thing. But yeah, these again are really, really good and obviously a lot more affordable. But yeah, if you're looking, for a dope, just like the most perfect Christmassy red. This is from the Kylie Christmas collection. This is the one. Did I even say what shade it was in? It's in the color Dashing. I love this. So yeah, guys, those are all my favorites for the last year. I feel like I kind of whizzed through that. I feel like I stuffed a lot of products in a somewhat short amount of time, but hopefully that gave you guys a little rundown on what I've been loving over the last year. You guys know I try out a lot of products doing what I do, uh, but these are definitely like my standout products for the last year. Let me know what your favorite products were for the year of 2022, which is madness, down in the comments below. And you know what I just realized? Uh, I think this is actually gonna be the last video that I'm filming uh, this year which is kind of mad. Like I've pre-filmed a bunch of videos because Ollie and I are actually gonna be taking a couple of weeks off this Christmas. So you guys will still see me. You haven't gotten rid of me yet. There'll still be videos going out every couple of days, but I think this is my last video that I'm filming this year. So if you guys wanna check out any of the products that I mentioned in today's video, I'll make sure I link them down below as usual alongside my HelloFresh discount code and the link to go with it. So if you guys do wanna save yourself some money, feed yourself loads of amazing food, teach yourself how to cook, whatever the reasoning is, then make sure you use my discount code and click the link down below in the description box. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you do wanna see more of me because I upload all the damn time. But yeah, that's it from me. That's it from me this year actually, or at least for me. Like I said, you guys are gonna see me in a couple of days whether you like it or not. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. I love ya and I'll see you in the next one. Uh, and I'll be filming in the new year. See you next year. I'll see you next year. You'll see me in a couple of days. Either way, Steph out.